Good morning, folks. Storms rolled through Albuquerque yesterday, and as we watch some of the shots of hail and lightning, I'll ask for your help. Tens of thousands of you yesterday watched as the fifth large earthquake in a row to strike this planet did so within our alert zones. In today's news, we're going to show you number six. The help is needed to spread the word. There's probably never been anything we've done that needs to be given away to the people more than this. We'll get into details in a moment. But right now, we're starting over at spaceweathernews.com, and you can see that things are mostly calm on the Earth-facing disk. Top right, as the bright area departs, it appears to begin some minor flare activity. Of course, it's as he exits the Earth-facing disk, did manage to push some plasma up and out into space as a CME, but it's not coming at Earth. The big space weather story is in progress this morning. Purple shows solar wind speeds spiking, and how far up it goes will determine if we get a geomagnetic storm condition today. The stream is flowing from the massive northern coronal hole, and if it's arriving now than yesterday, we were still under a serious earthquake alert. November 21st began with only two little areas on alert as the North Pole refused to let go of the energy. If there was a fault connecting Alaska and Russia's northern borders, I'd have put that one on alert. But as the day progressed, a number of Earth spots to the south found a way to steal that energy and intensify. The most notable and important was the extension of the Kamchatka alert zone down to the Japanese fault junction that divides the country in half. It was only two hours later that a magnitude 6.9 struck the alert zone, triggering small tsunamis and otherwise scaring the bejesus out of the people living near Fukushima. Afterwards, you can tell it was a global electric circuit release as the storms rapidly intensified over Japan thereafter. Here's the official global climate maps for October. Of course, this is their famous percentiles map, which, as far as I can tell, is engineered to remove as much blue as possible. The real temperature maps look like this. La Nina with a stiff arm to warmth, keeping it confined to the poles, oddly enough, as the frigid cold of winter seemed to follow the north magnetic pole. Anyway, some of the worst weather to start the week has hit the UK. That's Bristol, and the flash flooding was really much worse than forecast. Folks, if you want to predict earthquakes, if you like the new observation-based electric universe theories, if you want a sapphire update or the latest on Mars, come out to Observing the Frontier 2017, April 8th and 9th in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The goal is to have every single attendee walk out being able to predict the location of deadly earthquakes. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.